Hello everyone, my name is Cobalt, and welcome back to another video. Can we get some lights on in here? That's better. Today is the 4th of July, and if you live in the US like I do, it is the day that we celebrate our country's independence. But who cares about that? Today is Stranger Things Day, and today we celebrate Stranger Things only. <clears throat> so, uh, if you didn't know, today is the day that Stranger Things Season 3 finally comes out on Netflix, and if you also didn't already know, I am a little obsessed with Stranger Things. I, um, yeah, I, let's just say I'm very glad that the show really took off, because that means uh, a lot of merch that I own, and that's why I'm broke. But in celebration of this wonderful day, I thought, why not show you guys all of my Stranger Things LPS cuts? So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So obviously we're gonna be kicking things off with Eleven, because Eleven. So here she is. I really like this custom, but she's pretty old and I feel like that definitely shows, but she's still cute. So she was made from a fake short hair cat and I sculpted the hair and the shirt. The dress part is an LPS accessory that I just repainted and it is removable, but it is leaving some marks on her. Uh, yeah, none of these customs are sealed and their eyes aren't glazed either because they are very old. They're like one, at least one and a half years old. Um, but I, I still really like her. I still think she's cute. Nothing on the bottom, I painted the tip of her tail. Uh, her hair is looking a little rough, but I actually really like the way I did it. I kind of did it like a happy medium in between season one and two, like it's still a buzz cut, but it's growing out a little bit. And the reason why I decided to make the outfit like this is because like this, she's in her classic like, um, dress and jacket thingy but then if you take the dress off then it's like when she is first at Mike's house and he gives her those clothes to wear with like the sweatshirt and sweatpants or whatever so that's kind of why I decided to do it like that uh and yeah pretty much all I have to say about Eleven and let's move on to Mike next up is Mike and this is what he looks like he's made from a fake collie his eyes are looking really weird, like I made them way too small, I don't know why. Uh, I also decided to give him some freckles, but I think he looks pretty cute. I really like the hair on this one actually, the back's a little, uh, yeah, <laughs> but I like the front um, and I like the way that I painted the ears. But his shirt, oh my god, <laughs> I can't paint stripes, it's so hard. So yeah, the shirt's pretty rough, but... I still like it. Um, now when I make like human customs, I give them pants, but doesn't got any pants. Technically Eleven doesn't either, unless she's wearing her dress thingy, but yeah. So when I remake these guys, uh, I'm definitely gonna give them pants. I'm sorry. Once again, nothing really on the bottom and I like him, but uh, I do plan on remaking or just recustomizing all of these pets. Uh, but I think that for this base figure, the way the hair is, I might reuse this one for a custom of Richie from it and then remake Mike altogether. But I haven't decided yet. Um, so yeah, this is what he looks like and I think he's pretty cute. Next up is Dustin and I gotta give him his hat back because Cobalt was wearing that. There you go. Yeah, Dustin's a little bit of an oof, but he is my favorite character and he was one of my favorite customs when I made all these guys. So this is what he looks like. He has a lot more detail on the face than everybody else. Um, and his hair. <laughs> He looks like a freaking oh I'm so, his hat he looks like a hedgehog the hair took me like seven days to sculpt I don't think seven but like five it took me a really long time he's very spiky okay you want to know what his hair reminds me of it reminds me of like one of those spike ball things like let me show you a picture you see the resemblance you see the resemblance you know what I'm talking about that's what it looks like man <laughs> Yeah, so like the rest of the customs, I sculpted the clothes. I decided to do him in that like one sweatshirt that he wears, uh, but I didn't I didn't draw the paint the thingy on it. I don't even know what is the design. I think it's like a moose or something, but I just made it green. I didn't put no effort into this. Also, the hat is obviously removable since Cobalt was wearing it. Uh, it just has wax on the bottom so you can 
stick it on. Uh, I did not sculpt the brim. I cut that off of another thing and then I sculpted the rest of the hat. It looks all right. Uh, it doesn't really stick on his head because I was like, oh, what if I made the hat removable? But like, do you see how stupid this looks, man? Like, what was that doing? So hat can come off. Also this thing, it's also waxed on. That's what that is. This is his little walkie talkie, ma bobber talkie thing. I, his headphones that he can talk to people with this is what they look like. I made it out of puffy paint. That's why it's bendy. And then this part is a wire that I just glued on and I didn't make him a walkie talkie. So don't know how this is supposed to function, but it does just take my word for it. So yeah, that is that is Dustin, AKA uh, Porcupine Spike Ball Head. I'll probably sell him because I think I just want to start from scratch when I make him. Uh, Cause he's, he looks all right. He's still cute. I still love him. Dustin is my favorite character. So unfortunately I still haven't gotten around to making Lucas or Will but I do plan on doing them. I also want to do Max and like Steve and like, I just want to do everybody. But I made some other accessories. I made this Ego waffle for 11. Uh, it's kind of green looking, so I guess it's a moldy waffle. Uh, Mike gets no accessories, but then for Dustin, I made my pride and joy. Dart. This is baby Dart. I love Dart. Dart is my favorite character. This is my favorite LPS custom. Uh, and you can tell it's Dart because of his yellow butt spots. And can be chillin' with Dustin. You know, I say that Dustin is my favorite character, but let's be honest. It's the Demogorgon. I mean, technically Dart is my favorite character, but he is a Demogorgon, so yeah. Okay, so here is my Demogorgon custom. He's very tall. I made it from an authentic Greyhound. And basically, I cut the front of the face off and then sculpted all this onto it. And and then I was like, you know, I'm too lazy to sculpt teeth. Why don't I put toothpicks on it? But like, <laughs> this boy hurts. Like, man, if you go like this, if you stepped on this thing, you're dead, okay? He doesn't stand up very well because his head is very heavy. Like, this is a whole hunk of clay up here. I really, really love the way I painted him though. He was really fun to paint. Still probably gonna remake this Demogorgon because he's uh, not looking much better than a spike ball over here, like Dustin, but I still love it because it's a Demogorgon. I also cut the tail off because Demogorgons don't have tails. And there's also wax on the bottom if you're wondering what this is so that he stands up on my shelf because he falls over a lot. Next, finally, we have Dart, who is the best boy. He's my favorite character. Dart will live on. You know, people are like, oh my god, Barb died. Nobody cares about Barb. What about Dart, huh? First off, if you're wondering what this green part is, um, that's because my cat, Coco, decided to knock him off my shelf. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So this is what he looks like. I actually decided to sculpt the teeth, except for, like, the inner ones. Also, this was made from an authentic lizard, and I, uh, cut its face off. That's why it looks weird on the inside. Uh, I feel like the sculpting is much better than the Demogorgon. This is also, like, fairly new. This one was made within like the last within a year and then the other guys were made within like one and a half to two years they're kind of old um he's got some claws and he's got his butt spots um i would like to make the colors a lot vibrant because uh this colors ain't really working for you dart yeah but it is dirt. And I have made the full evolution of the Demogorgon in LPS custom form. Yeah, I mean like roughly. It's like the main evolution without the middle stages. So we got Poliwog, Demodog, Demogorgon. Bam. So yeah, guys, those are my LPS customs. Like I said, I do plan on making a ton more. I want to make all the characters, but that's that's a lot to wish for. I'm definitely going to make Will and Lucas and probably Max and probably Steve because like, come on. But if you're wondering, Dustin is my favorite character, but in reality, it's the Demogorgon and Demodogs and Dart who are my favorite characters because Demogorgons are amazing. So yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you guys are excited for Stranger Things season three. As of right now, I have not watched it yet, so please keep the comments spoiler free. I mean, even if you're watching this like three years into the future, please don't comment any spoilers. That would be awesome. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Oh my gosh, the Demogorgon's coming. <gasps> I gotta go. That was so horrible. By the way, this is my Stranger Things set. I hope you like it. It has blinking lights, normal lights, and fading lights. Oh my god, they're gone! Oh my god, they're coming back! Whoa! Okay, bye.